Alright guys, so I just buying packs for this pack. I mean, I accidentally opened up this one. As you can see, off the start we have Alex Wenberg. Only 84, but he's sick. He's got 88 hands. I've already looked through the pack. We got a primetime collectible there. You can tell. I'm getting, I've got something good. Check this out. Victor Hedman. Off the bat, 87 overall. He's one of the best defensemen in this game. I have a feeling this pack opening is going to be sick. Alright, you guys better be hyped for this pack opening. We got a Victor Hedman off the start, and you guys just seen how many packs I have to open up. As you can see, I don't even know how many gold plus packs. Uh, a ton though, we have like 10 of the Centennial packs. I've got a rare players pack here, 10 gold rare players, and then a ton more gold rare player packs from the player upgrade set. I've also got still points left, so I need buying even more packs. Right now though, we're at the 50 pack limit, so let's just get started here with the uh, gold rare player packs and the upgrade set. These are untradeable, but you never know. You could get a Crosby, you could get a McDavid, so here we go. I thought these were untradeable, but uh, these look pretty tradable to me. Alright, next pack here guys, maybe I'm getting lucky here. These weren't supposed to be tradable, but apparently they are. Uh, so far though, haven't been the greatest, but that's okay. Uh, as I showed earlier, we got a Victor Hedman accidentally opened that pack. Uh, okay, so that one's untradeable, so I guess the... Uh, single player one's untradeable, the other ones are not. So I thought I was getting lucky there. Uh, somehow got around EA. We get Alex Wenberg again. Corey Perry, only 84, but still a sick shot. So uh, definitely will take that. I was really hoping we get like a sick one though. I traded in a ton of bronze and silver. Like 130 bronze. Austin Matthews, there we go. Uh, Matthew Kachuk as well. Matthews is only 86, but he's got to be worth something. Like, what, probably like the third most popular player in the game right now behind David and Crosby. So... Last pack, Morgan Riley. Would have been sick if we got like a untradeable Crosby and David Ovechkin. But next year, guys, we have the rare players pack. We're starting off the pack opening big. Uh, so we got Austin Matthews there, Alex Wenberg, really nothing else. Let's get something though in this one. Hopefully, EA. We get Giordano, is not too bad. Tuka Rask, it's okay. Even Hopkins already got. Come on. Gensel, more or Truba. Atkinson, okay, so a lot of average, nothing great, nothing too bad. Moving on now, guys, we have the Centennial Celebration Packs, 24 items, 12 rare players. Come on, so, so far, I think our best pulls probably Hedner or Matthews, either way, though, uh, pretty good start. I uh, would love to get my first, or not my first, but another 88 pull. You could beat that 88 Burns, that'd be sick. Uh, so, so far here, nothing too crazy. Uh, Kachuri again, or sorry, Claude Giroux again, that's the third time I pulled him. I actually sold one for like 25k. Corey Schneider as well, another 86. Let's go. Let's go! Uh, not bad first pack there, or first wheel pack. Also just noticed we got a first overall pick in that pack, and Hill Yak Club's down 80 overall, so uh, it's pretty funny. Um, so that one wasn't too bad, we got like a Giroux. I see him in the Ritz pack, but we know he got some crazy stuff. I'm hoping we can replicate that. We already did get the head in the Matthews, so that's like I said, a good start with Giroux. I mean, it's a good start, but you can definitely do better. Come on, let's go. A Patrick Kane! Like I said, we can do better. There we go. 88 overall Patrick Kane. The packs right now. Uh, I thought that was like a Johnny Juice stick. That was, you need that though to get him. Corey Crawford there as well. That's a sick pack. Eagle is also an awesome card. Oh, Jamie Ben. We got Patrick Kane and Jamie Ben in the same pack. Are you kidding me? Tyler Johnson, I'll take that. Hendrick Lungfist, he's not as high anymore, but... Are you kidding me? Jamie Den and Patrick Kane. Like, they're both 88s. I think there's like 10 players are 88 plus. Patrick Kane, Jamie Ben. I think I seen Man the Rit. I was just mentioning him. He got Stamkos and Jamie Ben same pack. People were saying my pack opening wasn't as good. Jamie Ben, Patrick Kane, what's up? Alright guys, I am so pumped right now. I don't know how we're gonna top that. Patrick Kane and Jamie Ben the same pack. Like, I think the two of them combined might be worth as much as McDavid or Crosby. Patrick Kane's for sure with a ton. Thomas Attar, uh, John Cooper Dove's not too bad. Dunick's not too bad. Blake Wheeler, that's pretty solid. 86, I'll take it. Um, Kessler's only 84 now. Wow, way worse than last year. But uh, still, we get the Blake Wheeler there. Pretty solid pack, too. All right, guys, these packs are absolutely crushing it right now. We're going to go with the first pack here. I think we're going to blow this one up. I still can't believe Patrick Kane, Jamie Ben. It had to be with that intro. Like, that intro was dope. Plus, we got the headman to start us off. Give us some good luck. Um, I saw Jonathan Taze. I saw Jonathan Taze. Patrick Kane and Jonathan Taze within, like, three packs. Are you kidding me? These packs right now. Jonathan Taze. Marc-Andre Fleury as well, but... 
Let's go. All right, guys, these Centennial Celebration Packs are absolutely unreal. Um, like, I can't honestly believe how good they've been. We're gonna skip this one. All right, lots of 83s to start. Like five 83s. Uh, we have a similar, like, collectible, though. Okay, we're at seven 83s. Eric Carls! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? JBR, are you kidding me? Carlson, Kane, Ben, Hedman, Matthews, Wheeler. Like, I, I don't even, I don't even know. These packs right now are just absolutely unreal. If we can get a cross from McDavid, it is GG. Like, let's, let's keep going. I just realized too, I don't even think I reacted that much for Eric Carlson. Cause like, I already pulled so many good cards. I think I forgot to mention Taze and I was listing off all the cards I've pulled. Like, it is incredible right now. We get Phil Kessel, he's only 85, but Look at those offensive stats, 88 everything, like it's still Phil Kessel. I don't even know why, I didn't even click on Carlson's stats to show you guys. I think I've had before though, he's a beast. Uh, we got a McGinnis uh, collectible there. Got Hoover Doe and True, that's not too bad. Come on, if we can get another like nasty pull, Ekblad Skinner. I mean, that's a decent 85, so nothing crazy there, but we also didn't really get many 83s. That's not bad. I love how I pull a pull of Kessel, I'm just like, eh, that's alright. But I mean, that's just how good our pack look has been. I, on, I still can't believe it, like, I still can't believe it, these packs, I need to get a Crosby McDavid out, and I think that's the only way to top that, pretty much, um, Carey Price, I guess, the Couturier there, Let's keep going, Radulov's not bad, 85, like Kessel though, some sick offense stats, TJ Oshie will take that, Clefbaum, Bufflin, 86, probably got like the best check stats in the game, not bad at all. Alright guys, we're gonna go with the middle centennial celebration pack here. I noticed too, I bought a ton of gold packs, and I wanna try and like, fill up the hero sets. I'm thinking maybe I should've just bought these, but we never know, like the gold packs could still be good. Kadri and Palak to start this one. Phil Kessel again, we'll take that. Jack Eichel, let's go. Only 86, but like, he's got 6 stats, and obviously, it's Jack Eichel, like, come on. Uh, Saw, we get collectible. Come on, Henrik Zetterberg, only 85, but obviously I'm a big fan. Um, and then Marchesi there, so pretty sick pack. A couple more of these to go. I think we're gonna try like the uh, player info thing. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that for this one, so we'll watch it open up. I'll throw in a few methods here, but like the packs have been so good. Alright, here we go. Hamnick, we can see crazy pull here. Uh, Trigger, Tori Mitchell, Jack Eichel again, let's go. Victor Rass, Zuccarello's not bad, he actually sells for a decent amount. Brody. Come on, Condon. Simmons is okay. Fowler's okay. That's okay. Klingberg's only an 84, but I mean, he's not bad. Kavinsky, Martinez. Alright, so uh, nothing too crazy, but we did get some decent pulls. Maybe we get like a gold collectible. I don't know if you can get those actually in special packs. I uh, don't look like you can, but we do get a uh, 100th anniversary collectible. So that's alright. Last centennial pack here. I'm probably going to buy at least a couple more of those. Those were absolutely unreal. Like, we had a run there of three, four, five packs. I don't even know, like, think about, like, the car, we pulled, like, an entire starting lineup, like, Pecorine, there we go, I was just thinking, like, Taze, Kane, Dan's our first line, then we have Hedman and Carlson for our two defensemen, like, that's just crazy, uh, this one so far hasn't been too good, but all we need is one card, the bit of jazz okay, uh, I think we probably get at least one more rare, Golden Knights logo, Johnny Goudreau, let's go, 86, but offensive stats are amazing, kind of like a Mitch Marner, that's awesome. Next gold pack here. Hopefully we can find something in this one. I think we'll uh, blow this one up. I still just can't believe like that starting run we had is absolutely unreal. Um, okay, I think... What did I see? Okay, I seen a Dustin Bufflin. I thought I seen a pretty high rated card. I don't know why. I thought it was higher, but that's still a very good pull. Here you go with the next pack. Gold collectible off the start. I like that. You like that? Varlamov, only 83. Also get a primetime collectible, Savard, so I mean, Hornfist, no good players. We got two collectibles, one gold, one primetime. Probably a solid pack. Here you go, guys, for the next pack. Um, Kessler, Dry Saddle, there we go. He's an 86 this year, which is pretty high. And obviously, I'm a huge fan of Leon Dry Saddle. 86 speed, I wish he was a little faster, but he got six shots, sick hands. I mean, I'm so glad we pulled him. I really wanted to pull him. We got Tatar next to him. Gold Knights logo. Do you get any collectibles? No collectibles, but Dry Saddle, I'm happy with that. Come on, Rammer. I think we're gonna do, uh, what should we do? Should we blow this one up? I'm blowing it up in a bit. Uh, Anisimov. We get the primetime collectible, which could be worth a lot. Strawman. Another primetime collectible. Shen. So, two primetime collectibles. If there's some sick cards in that set. That's an awesome pack. Here we go, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna skip this one. Gold collectible off the bat. I like it. Hayes, Vatanen, Murray. Alright, so, not the best players. We get a primetime collectible and a gold collectible. Could be honestly worth more than like most players. I'm gonna go back to the far right pack here. 
<sighs> these gold packs let me down a bit. I mean, I don't know. I think those first packs are just too good. I've already said that. Prime time. Dustin Bufflin. Okay, as I say that. And a Stars of the Month. Okay, that was actually sick. We got Stars of the Month that I think might be like the best players. It's the best players for that month. A Bufflin and a Prime Time collectible. That was sick. Seems like these gold packs just had a lot of collectibles for us. Not really the greatest for players, but I mean, that's okay, I guess. Uh, Strom in there. Uh, let's see, we get two more rares. Ryan Johansson, that's a pretty solid pull. 86, he's got six stacks on him. Six, six, tough to say. And Jake Gardner, but that's a good pull. Come on, I don't think we've gotten over an 86 in a while. It'd be sick to get an 87 plus here. I think like Tarasenko even is an 87. Uh, Monahan, 85. JBR Pecorino, so I mean, that was actually a pretty solid pull. You can get a collectible here on top, that'd be pretty awesome. No collectible, but still, that was a good pack. I'm gonna try the first pack here. Let's, uh, let's just hope. Come on, Tyler Myers, gold collectible, milestone collectible. Okay, so that was another pack where nothing, like, for good players, but two sick collectibles. So we got three more gold packs left to go. Gonna try the middle pack with a dry saddle three. I'm still gonna open up some special packs after this. And if they have the same luck as the ones at the beginning, I mean, that would just be incredible. I really don't see it happening, though. That was just, like, Kane and Ben in the same pack with, like, a Taze and a Carlson a couple packs later. Um, this one here, yeah, 383s, that's rough. Come more goals, gonna try some back and forth, a little bit up and down, just throwing some methods at it here. We'll skip it though. Uh, Ekblad Borkstrand, a gold collectible, I like that, a primetime collectible, a Klingberg, that's a good pack. Last gold pack here, guys, and I, like I said, gonna buy some specials. Come on, Rammer, give us some in this last gold. I think I got enough gold collectibles now I can make a carbon, which is good. I think I'm trying to do the Al McGinnis hero set, probably the easiest first one. We get Jeff Skinner there. Starts the month, alright, that's something at least. Uh, Brandon Saad though, okay. So that's alright. So I was gonna buy a few more of these Centennial Celebration Packs, guys. Unfortunately, there's a limit of 10 per day, and I've already opened 10, so we'll open up one of the 100th Anniversary Packs. Um, we'll definitely end on that. And I think I still have, yeah, just under 3,000 points. So this pack here, in terms of players, is not worth it. So we'll open up however many more gold packs it gives us, and then we'll end on the 100th Anniversary Pack. Alright guys, so I got some more gold packs to open up. Hopefully we can get something in one of these. Uh, before we go to the 100th anniversary, we get a gold collectible here. Tori Krug, I don't know, I thought that might have been a Bergeron. I could see the Bruin, unfortunately it wasn't. Uh, the gold collectible though alone is really good. Mitch Marner, he's sick. He goes for like 25k, even though it's 85 overall, so that's an awesome pack. Let's get something good in this one. Uh, McKinnon, that's sick. 85 off the bat. Team Elite collectible as well. Come on. Dry Saddle. And a what? That was an amazing pack. Primetime collectible, gold collectible. Um, where is it? Team Elite collectible with Nathan McKinnon and Dry Saddle. That's unreal. Like, I think Dry Saddle and McKinnon are both 25k players. Those collectibles are going to be worth quite a bit. That's an unreal pack. Alright, guys, so this next pack here, gonna break out the pen pack again. Still can't believe that one pack. McKinnon, Dry Saddle, three collectibles. Like, are you kidding me? It's just so crazy. Dylan Larkin, I already have him, but I'm always like, like seeing Larkin. We get Brock Nelson, another collectible. Here's our next rare. Come on, somebody sick. Victor Rass. Uh, Team collectible, though, so made up for it. So, final pack of the episode here, the 100th anniversary pack, 32 items, 18 gold rare players. Like, let's end it on a high note. I'm hoping. At least an 87, I'm hoping 87 plus, like I'm not going to get too greedy, we've already had so many sick pulls, they were all at the beginning too, so hopefully you guys kept watching. I'd love to get an 87 plus, please Rammer, we get Ghost off the bat, that's solid, Night Fist is also solid, Claude Giroux, an 86, like I said, he sells for a lot, um, so I mean if that's all we get, that's solid, Sittler there, uh, we get Collectible, we get Radulov, couple 83s, come on, 87 plus to go with the Giroux, um, what else are we gonna get here? It's a big pack. You never know. Like McDavid, Crosby could be high, and Rantanen's pretty sick. That's not a great rating. All right, so no 87 plus. But I mean, I can't be upset with this pack. But we got two collectibles there as well with the Claude Giroux. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. That one run, I still can't believe. Like, what was it? Kane and Ben the same pack followed up with a Taze and a Carlson, and there was like a Headman before that. It's just, it's just crazy. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the pack of winning. Um, if you did, please give that thumbs up. Stay for more NHL 18 videos. Not only hot, I'll be doing other stuff. Um, I've honestly lost my voice. I've opened up so many packs. But hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.